Miss Daisy Rhodes some breakfast in bed. She's feeling very sore, but enjoying this breakfast in bed, just what ponies need. The ground is lovely and soft for her in the stable versus outside. The drought has made the ground very hard, so she's really uncomfortable. So I've brought her inside and she lay down and said, oh, this is delicious. I can relax. And her buddies are here hoping for bits of carrot, but no, she's gonna have grass at the moment and I'm gonna give her some more horse chestnut as anti-inflammatory and other herbs to make her feel better. But she's definitely enjoying her breakfast in bed. So these are the mixture of herbs I'm giving to Daisy Rose. This is uh, Sticky Willy, Robin Run the Hedge. It's called many different things. Um, this is a good cleansing herb. These are horse chestnut leaves. They're kind of an anti-inflammatory. This is willow. This is a painkiller. This is kind of like aspirin. This is broadleaf plantain, which is different. It's high in vitamins and minerals, good for the stomach uh, and those kind of things. This is a uh, salad burnet. You can see here's the salad burnet flowers. Um, there's mixtures of grasses in there, but the salad burnet, oops, no, don't blow away. Um, the salad burnet is um, good for, as a painkiller and is excellent for rheumatism. And then these are oxide daisies which are good for stomach and things like that. So that um, uh, if she has anything feeling dicey in her belly, um, this will help as well as it's lovely vitamins and minerals and things like that. So I'm gonna bring these all over to Daisy Rose. And she will have, she, this is her, oops, all those plantains. This is her medication. And there she is waiting for her browsing medication. Because the ground is so hard, her feet are so sore. So there you go. So now she will eat, look, okay, plantain first. More plantain. So the plantain is what she's really wanting. So she'll probably eat some of the other stuff. She'll find the willow for painkiller. Yeah, she's definitely liking the plantain. There she's eating some of the salad burnet. And we'll see what else she'll eat. Yeah, she's liking the plantain, which is really high in essential vitamins and minerals, P and K, and healing properties. There she's eating the anti-inflammatory, the horse chestnut. So she'll eat that. More plantain. Yeah, she's definitely, now she's spat out some of the horse chestnut because she might not need that very much. Oh, no, she's chose that horse chestnut. Well, anyway, she will eat through all those different herbs. And there's anti-inflammatories, painkillers, things for rheumatoid arthritis, which is her hips, her back hips. So she will hopefully really enjoy that because it's so hot outside and the ground is so hard, it's just completely not fair on her with her sore legs to be outside on the hard ground. And she's been, as you saw earlier, she was having a lovely lie down. Oh, there she goes. She's eating the um, Sticky Willy or Robin Run the Hedge. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. And one of her best mates. Hey, kitty, are you coming here to help too? Are you? Yeah, really? You're such a clever puss. Aren't you such a clever boy? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave her to self-medicate now.